she gets it. Second Australian T20 hundred in front of her home crowd in a women's ashes. It doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, it backs up her 86 in game one where she got a stroller over the line. What a series. Definitely during that 2017 Ashes series, I felt like I had to bide my time a bit to contribute in the way that I wanted to. Obviously, I'd been in, in the one day side and the T20 side for a period of time and then was pretty disappointed to miss out in the ODI leg of that series, but I actually had a little bit more time to prepare for the test match in the T20s while the girls were playing the one days. Really wanted to, to give the best version of myself for when I did play. Welcome back to North Sydney Oval, but the women's ashes, it's all on the line. I remember Moddy saying to me before that first game that he didn't want me to do anything too different. He just wanted me to bat like it was a big bash game. And nicely played by Mooney. Oh, and hit beautifully again. This time six all the way. You know, I had a little bit of freedom, which made me feel like I could play some some shots earlier in my innings than perhaps I'd done before and obviously got given that licence by Moddy and Rach at the time who was captaining to really try and take the game on. The short ball again and Mooney's so quick to pick up that length. Didn't have any demons coming up against England either. I hadn't played a lot of cricket against them so didn't have any anything sitting on my shoulder telling me not to play this shot or that shot. I just had a lot of freedom. Oh, Mooney goes over the covers. Not only striking the ball well, but uh, her placement has been excellent. It was one of those games where everywhere I wanted to hit the ball was where it went, which is quite rare in cricket, isn't it? Worked away nicely into the gap again. And that will be Mooney's 50. Slashes that away, beautifully timed again. Boy, she's struck them beautifully. Through the cover, she's done it, Beth Mooney. What an innings. What a way to regain the Ashes for Australia. She'll hug a captain. Superb run chase. And I'm sure all the Australian women will storm onto the field because they have retained the Ashes. Been around the, the group in 2015 when they won on English soil for the first time in many years. So, you know, whilst I was running drinks at the start of the series, it was nice to contribute at the back end and, and really make sure we were going to keep the urn. It is a gorgeous evening here in our nation's capital. Welcome to Monica Oval. A game in Canberra of that leg of the T20 series. I just remember the wicket looking a bit like glass. It was very flat. Mooney on the charge. He's got it through the field and then it's the perfect way to start the innings. That is lovely to watch. Up and over, long off. Obviously, Monica is renowned for being a pretty good batting wicket and a high scoring contest so a similar thing I had that freedom and that license to to take the game on a little bit there she is on 99 they go for the single and she gets it what a moment for Beth Mooney uh, made in T2000 the second Australian to score T2000 in front of her home crowd in a women's ashes it doesn't get any better than that I don't know that you ever feel comfortable and safe in this environment. I think, you know, we've got such a plethora of young players coming through that anyone could do a job just as good as anyone else. So certainly it gave me the confidence to believe that I could be successful at this level and what I was doing was perhaps working and to be part of that group of players to have achieved the things we have and been able to make a small contribution along the way and have a little bit of success personally has certainly been pretty special. So just looking back, it's probably given me the confidence and the data to suggest that I'm, I'm doing something right.